Welcome back to Wonky Cuts Workshop. This time uh, I'm going to try and make a wooden pencil case and as you'll see further on in the video it didn't go exactly to plan so uh, a bit of a different one this time. Making things and fixing things have been in my DNA from a very young age. I was always interested in how things worked, so I took things apart, but not always able to put them back together, uh, much to my parents' uh, frustration. When I finished second school, uh, I went to college and studied mechanics. I ended up qualifying as an industrial mechanic and I worked in the maintenance department in various uh, factories for just about a decade. So making replacement parts to go on these production lines was uh, part of my everyday routine. In fact, every time I ended up in a lathe or a milling machine with a fresh block of metal um, and machined it into a functioning part. I used to love it. It was great to see it working, what I'd made. So this was back home in Norway. Fast forward almost 15 years and I'm living in the UK. I've taken up woodworking as a hobby and making things out of recycled wood was what I preferred, as it was cheap. At least that's what I thought. But that's a uh, topic for another video. Now, what's all this got to do with the box, you may wonder? Well, it's all part of how I got here today. The box is uh, why I feel that I've almost failed as a woodworker. Up until I made this box, I thought I was past the novice stage of woodworking. But this box reminded me of how wrong I was. The things I'd made up until this point were things that I found easy to make and whoever bought them would love them. If I made a mistake, they were easy to repair or hide. They were things that I was comfortable making. They didn't require much skill on my part. All I did was to go to the local sawmill and buy some exotic wood offcuts, cut them into strips and glue them together, then a bit of planing and sanding, and finally some finish. There was never a real challenge in anything I've done up until now. So when I saw a uh, YouTube video where someone was making a uh, wooden box uh, or a pencil case, um, I thought, that looks easy, I can do that. So here we go, that's what I'm trying. So all I had to do was uh, go and choose some contrasting wood for the four walls and for the top and bottom. And for this project I chose some ash for the walls and some black walnut for the top and bottom. As you've probably gathered, I am not a big fan of what I made this time. I am not happy with the final result. So you may wonder why am I making this video? Why am I uploading a video of something that I've made that I'm not happy with for everyone to view? I think the easiest way to describe it is that I'm including this video here on my channel as a reminder to me more than anyone else that at this point in my woodworking journey it's not as much a new start, but maybe just a new chapter. I'm going to let the video run its course for a few minutes. I'm going to be quiet and then uh, we'll pick up uh, how I feel about this project a little bit later. Thank you. 
Well, the box is uh, glued, taped up, finishing the lid now, and soon the tape will be off. And, uh, well, let's hand over to, um, well, myself, really, uh, in the workshop, talking about how I feel about what I've done so far. Over to you, or is it me, Dan? Yeah. So, just to make one thing clear, um, this is the first time I'm trying to make anything like this. Seen a couple of videos, thought I could do it, but it's difficult. <laughs> um, there are a couple of things I'll change next time I do it. A bit more planning maybe, not just on a whim. The uh, lid uh, fits, but it's too loose. As you can see, uh, the corners aren't perfect. I think I need a new saw blade in my back um, table saw. It's quite a rough blade. Um, so yeah, I think I can make it work. I might make a new lid, we'll see. And uh, yeah, the rest is just sanding and filler, I guess. So yeah. Just, uh, yeah, just get on with it, I guess. But, all right, let's do it. Well, I never did any of those things, apart from the sanding. I decided actually to keep it as it is. At many stages of the process of making this box, I wanted to put a sledgehammer to it. I wanted to go all Hulk on it, smash it into tiniest pieces and burn it. But then I look at it and I feel sorry for the box. It's not your fault that you are less than perfect. It's not your fault that the mitres don't fit, that your corners aren't square, that the grooves for the base and the lid are too wide so they don't fit properly. I'm sorry I was in such a hurry to make you, that uh, I made you the way you are. I won't crush you or throw you away. I will keep you and I will put you up on the shelf where I can see you. You are a reminder of where I am now and that my journey to learn and to challenge myself, it starts with you. So all I will say is thank you. Thank you for the reminder. made it this far thank you for watching if you liked what you saw please hit that like button and if you haven't already please consider subscribing thank you also to 
Sublime North for again composing such wonderful music for this video. Thank you everyone and see you on the next one.